Welcome to the V-Acoustic Experience, powered by Modus VR. For the next few minutes, we'll review acoustic problems found in home cinemas and demonstrate how V-Acoustic products can address them. When you send our projects team your floor plan, we'll model your space, perform an acoustic analysis, and recommend solutions to help your home cinema reach its full potential. Take a look around, even behind you. Our analysis has revealed several issues, one of which is called first reflections. Sound radiates from your speakers, reflecting all around the room. We'll follow a few individual paths to see how they end up reaching the primary listening position. The first sound that arrives is called direct sound. It travels from the speaker to the listener without interruption. The next sounds to arrive are called first reflections. They arrive later than direct sound and may be colored after reflecting off a surface. Reflections affect the sound stage, making it difficult to locate and distinguish sources in 3D space. Notice there are first reflections happening on the right wall, the left wall, and the ceiling, all arriving at different times. To control these, we're adding flat panel VMT near the reflection points on the walls and cinema round premiums near the reflection points on the ceiling. There's also a reflection that occurs on the rear wall. This wall is a source of even more acoustic defects, but putting an absorber in the back can make the room sound too dead. We'll diffuse the sound instead by adding the multi-fuser wood. Diffusion controls the sound while keeping the energy inside the room. Now that first reflections are under control, we'll move on to the next issue, room modes. Room modes are a significant anomaly in home cinemas. Typically occurring below 200 Hz, these happen when a sound's frequency matches the room's resonant frequency. This wave represents the first mode along the width of the room, and it occurs near 34 Hz. If you're sitting in a peak, this frequency will seem too loud, and if you're sitting in a valley, this frequency will seem too quiet. There's another mode, around 68 Hz, that follows a different pattern. Room modes also occur along the length of the room, in this case at 22 Hz. In fact, there are many more modes affecting low-frequency performance, causing it to sound different at each seat in the room. We can create a more consistent experience by adding super bass extremes in all four corners. Now that we have a more uniform bass response, it's time to address our final issue, reverberation. We'll start by removing all the acoustic treatment in the room, and we'll use light to represent a burst of sound coming from the center channel. These glowing particles represent the sound's energy interacting with the room. Sound that's not absorbed reflects off surfaces and travels through the room, losing energy with each bounce. This lingering sound is called reverberation, and it often makes it difficult to understand the film's dialogue. Red particles indicate they've been around too long and are hurting audio clarity. Let's bring back our room treatment and add more cinema rounds to the ceiling. We're also adding more flat panel VMT throughout the room. Not only are these a less expensive alternative to a stretched fabric solution, they can be printed with any custom design to create a unique aesthetic. Finally, to prevent the room from sounding too dead and to give the room a greater sense of spaciousness, we'll add multi-fuser DC2s to the ceiling and multi-fuser woods to the sides of the room. With full acoustic treatment installed, let's see how the room performs this time. As you can see, the reverberation in this room is now tightly controlled. We've also addressed our first reflections, tamed troublesome room modes, and added to the room's aesthetic along the way. The Vcoustic Projects team has also put together an alternate solution for the same space. It gives us a completely different look with the same great performance. Vcoustic offers many other products, styles, and colors to meet any budget and aesthetic. In this demo, we've covered how first reflections, room modes, and reverberation can negatively impact the experience in your home cinema. You're invited to take a copy of our white paper, which goes deeper into these concepts and proposed solutions. We hope you've enjoyed our demo.